What's up everybody, Yoki here. Today I'm just gonna be doing Ninja Rose, showing you guys what I'm currently doing to farm it. Not too many days left for it, and I am trying to stock up on friend points right now, believe it or not, because uh, we are getting speed pills back in the friend summons in, uh, by next week when like uh, Sage of Six Path Madara drops. And I don't know if they're gonna increase the rates, but you know, I'd rather be prepared than unprepared at this point. So yeah, I've used this team a lot and run with it a lot until I get a specific pattern down basically. So start off doing this. Alright, I had to take a I had to stop for a little bit, take a quick little break. Alright. So yeah, I just auto those two. Hopefully I don't get any rare maps because I usually don't. If there is like a special mini boss map, I haven't seen it at all. But yeah, I've pretty much run with this team enough so that every single last move is calculated at this point. Something I wasn't able to do with the last Ninja Road because they like kept having their attack patterns be random and that would throw it off. So here I just move with Kashi, move the guy over a little bit, that way moderate can hit everybody. T is gonna live. I guess by the time I'm done recording this I'll see how fast I can really go because I'm trying to trying to low-key speed run it. Alright, hopefully Sakon doesn't dodge because he is annoying with that. Don't care about Jutsus because I am getting everything back after map 5. Perfect. It's funny though because every time I uh, start doing PvP, first of all I'm supposed to use a Jutsu, they're not an ultimate but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, when it comes to Hashirama, my heart Hashirama, every time I think about, hey you know what, let's Blazing Awaken him, uh, Ninja Rogue comes and I use him on it, you know. Alright, just auto here. Actually, I usually uh, activate auto on uh, map 5. As soon as I activate Kakashi's Jutsu, just hit auto and, you know, come into this stage auto attacking. But, uh, yeah, Hashirama is just funny. I would, I know he's a good unit, and he only has one dupe, so if I do Blazing Awaken him, he's only going to have that 15% damage reduce, but I keep having use for him on Ninja Road, so... Yeah, that's why I haven't done it. Make sure I cut off auto here. A little hiccup there, all right. So yeah, I, I really don't like map seven. That's why I blew him up originally. I have Nagato blow everyone up too. Yeah, if you guys try to copy this though, I don't know what to say exactly. Like, maybe Sasuke, uh, the last Sasuke, instead of Hashirama here. Because I, I would be using him, or at least try with him if I had him. But everyone else is like, you know, really calculated stuff right here. Because like, you see I used Jutsu and Minato, right? I'm supposed to not hit with Nagato. Tag with six pad Naruto here. Then I need to change back to Hashirama here. Because, uh, this is, you know, basically how I can go through it quicker without having to stall. So, Kakashi. Don't care about field skills here. Because the outcome's gonna be the same. Yeah. 
Now you follow up with Madara. And now Hashirama has, uh, he'll be having his ultimate when I get to the next map. And I use Madara here instead of, instead of Six Paths because I want him to use his ultimate a little later. Just wipe these guys out. Now, originally for this map, I kept using, uh, all right, no, I don't think rare map pops up here anyway. So what I just want to do is tack close enough that Sasuke comes up to Kakashi. Then I'm going to blow them all up with Six Path Naruto. Originally what I did here was I used Nagato's ultimate as soon as I got here. It pushed them all backwards, right? Sasuke would attack and 80% of the time he attacks, you know, in front of Hashirama. And from that point of him attacking Hashirama, I would uh, use Madara's Jutsu. I could actually barely hit all three of them. And that's what I used to do until I just now, you know, use Stage of Six Pass to wipe out map 12. And I found that it worked a lot better. Yeah, but uh, the main thing here is it's not about stalling. I mean, it's not about. Uh, being cheap with the GCs and ultimates because you need to stall up on map 14 anyway. Oh, I was supposed to use Madara there to generate more chakra. I know what I did wrong. Okay. So, uh, just gonna regular attack Kasame and finish him off with second row. Yeah, I threw it off a little bit by not using Madara's Jutsu there. Which is fine, it just means I gotta stall a little longer. And now is going to be the time where I KO him. With the second row. make sure I get him close enough that I get that attack boost. And I'm planning on taking him out in the five turns. So I don't need to worry about hitting the last spot now. It actually works out for me in the better in the long run. For the better in the long run. And you see his HP looks really low right now, but you still want to use ultimates. Especially in Kakashi, Kakashi's case, you, you, you think like, oh man, all I gotta use is like one Jutsu and I'm done. Because of how much he does. Kind of like he's uh, getting spoiled without realizing it. And yeah, I can just hit the top spot to finish him, but I'm hitting the bottom spot too to make sure I get the ultra combo. Pretty much the same thing from here, just use everything installed on map 19. Did I trigger his counter? Yeah. Whatever. That's fine. Now, Opto's gonna be gone. I almost freaked out like I did something wrong. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he double dodged. Alright. 
It's funny, that guy gets immobilized almost every time, but never Kakashi. Just gonna double nuke him. Like I said, as long as I got one ultimate, I don't care. Hmm, another song's playing now. That means I just passed 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, it's not too bad. So I can almost, I can finish in maybe 12 minutes to run. I really hate initiative stuff on Ninja, run, Ninja Rogue because it's just like wasting time to me. At least give me a chance to wipe them out or something. I always try to KO B and the right Kage first and stall against Daruli, which will work perfectly. Yeah, I forgot. I don't need to beat him down at all. I still follow them. I don't want you uh, stopping six path from healing. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter. I need Kakashi out, actually. Yeah, that works. Snick with Hashi, because all my other ultimates will be enough for her car. It's funny, because every time I got to this stage for the longest time using this team, I kept using Hashirama's ultimate, making sure I'm close enough that I get a follow-up attack. Huh. I messed up. <laughs> supposed to make sure that Hashi uh supposed to make sure that Kakashi's ultimate is ready. I was thinking that would generate whatever. Outcome will be the same. Should be the same. Anyway, I'm supposed to use Kakashi and then Sage of Six Paths here back to back because that will take out these two spots on the top and save me having to see Shikaku do his animations. Should actually still take it out. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Kakashi. I'm worried about the follow-up attacks for anything else. Because like one time I did run through this, I literally won because of the follow-up attack, so. Yikes. Forgetting I don't have wis uh Kakashi's wisdom boost skill. But Modder does a little more and that should be it. Yep. So five hit KO on the boss. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how I usually farm Ninja Road. Been doing it a lot. Bought up all those HP pills and still don't have enough. Yeah, these uh these rare maps on map 11 and 17 have not seen them once, haven't got them once. It's like they don't even exist, honestly. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you did. Peace.